Come join me by my fire, and I'll tell you all a tale. Come sit and warm yourself with a cup of mead or ale. These tales of old, if they're not told, could soon be lost to time. But a story shared between us becomes yours as well as mine. All know of Thor, guardian of Midgard, the god of thunder, and many know of his wife, Sif the golden-haired, who grew the wheat upon which we all rely. But few have ever heard the tale of how the two met, or how it was that Thor won her heart. It happened long ago, while Thor was returning from Jotunheim. He decided to pass through Midgard before returning home. There, he saw the humans struggling. They simply could not grow enough food to last through the coming winter. He sat and pondered how he could help. If they were threatened by giants, it would be easy. Hit it with his hammer. But food? Then he saw her across a freshly plowed field, a beautiful maiden with golden hair down to her knees. She walked through the furrows, and as she passed, the wheat would sprout. Tirelessly, she walked back and forth across the entire field until each row held a thick carpet of short green shoots. And then she was gone. Thor felt an ache in his heart at her absence and resolved to return to this same field each day until he saw her again. But after several days, he noticed that the tender young grains had barely grown and had begun to yellow in the late spring sun. Though he still had not learned who this lovely maiden of the wheat was, he scowled at the thought of her labors going to waste. Holding his great hammer, Mjolnir, high, he called forth great thunder clouds and a warm spring rain fell upon the field. He returned each week and watered the wheat field, smiling to himself as he saw it growing tall and strong, rippling in the early summer breeze. Yet still he had not found her. What the great god of thunder could not have known was that the golden-haired maiden had indeed returned to this field, but having seen the imposing figure of Thor, had remained hidden from his sight watching to see what the god of thunder might do to her laboriously sown wheat. And she returned to see him caring for her field, calling forth the rain to water the tender grains. Her heart warmed as she saw him caring for the people of Midgard and aiding her in her quest to help them feed themselves. And when the wheat was ready to reap, Thor returned yet again, calling no clouds so as to let the grains dry on their stalks. Though proud of his part in helping the wheat grow, he felt a deep emptiness and longing for the golden-haired maiden. And then she was there. She stood before him, smiling and holding a sheaf of wheat in her arms. Greetings to you, god of thunder, she spoke. Greetings to you, maiden of the wheat. I know not your name, only that my heart aches in your absence. I am called Sif, and I have watched you care for the wheat I so carefully sowed. Tales of your bravery and strength are often told, but now I see that your heart is as strong and mighty as the arms that swing your hammer. And so it was through a mutual love for humankind that Thor, God of Thunder, and Sif, goddess of the harvest, came to know and love each other. And each year, the two combined their efforts to grow the wheat and allow the people of Midgard to eat through the winter. And in time, they had two sons, Magni and Moti, and a daughter named Truth, which means strength, and they named their hall after her. 
but that is a tale for another time. The hour has now grown late, and it's time for us to go. So press like and subscribe, so when a new tale comes, you'll know.